Nutty. Meghan and Harry flip out as merciless neglected by US public after shameful farces of traitors. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been branded as out of touch during their public visits by a royal expert. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently stepped out in New York for their first joint appearances since the birth of their daughter, Lilibet Diana, on June 4. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended to participate in Global Citizen Live, to promote equal access to the COVID-19 vaccine as well as a reading at a school in Harlem. Royal commentator Katie Nichol pointed out a notable inconsistency between the outing and the image the couple have wanted to offer the world of themselves. The couple did face some criticism for the visit, including the fact that they traveled back to Montecito by private jet, after being vocal about the effects of climate change. Ms. Nichol, the royal editor of Vanity Fair, spoke about the event on the Royal Beat. She said, turning up at an underprivileged school in Harlem, in a couture coat that costs more than the combined incomes of most of those parents at the school. It doesn't make any sense. It just shows them to not be in touch. The Duchess was slammed for wearing the $5,840 Loro Piana cashmere coat, as she was visiting an underprivileged part of New York. She also matched the coat with $1,685 wide leg pants, and red Manolo Blahnik pointed toe heels. Royal watchers took to social media after the event, pointing out that the Duchess of Sussex's suit looked a lot like the one worn by Michael Obama. There has been widespread speculation that Meghan is looking for a career move into politics, and may even run in the next election. The Duchess and Harry stepped down from their role as working royals in the British monarchy last year. When they made the decision, they rescinded their rights to use their HRH titles and stopped receiving public funds for royal duties. The Duke and Duchess had previously said they planned to carve out a progressive new role in the royal family and intended to work to become financially independent. This saw them launch their non-profit, the Archule Foundation. Since moving to Montecito, California, the couple have signed various deals with multiple companies. Their production deal with major player Netflix, was reportedly around $150 million. It is also rumored that Meghan is starting a new skin line with infomercial guru Bill Guthy. The deal is rumored to be around $200 million. Royal aides are on tenterhooks awaiting confirmation Meghan Markle may be about to return to the United Kingdom. According to a report from The Sun, Prince Harry and Meghan may fly across the pond from the United States to the UK later this month for a party celebrating Princess Diana. Harry flew to the UK alone in July to unveil a statue of his mother alongside his brother, Prince William, but a reception had to be postponed due to COVID-19 restrictions. However, as restrictions have eased, the party is back on. It's reported up to 100 people have been invited with Diana's friend Sir Elton John also said to be on the guest list. Those organizing the event aren't yet aware whether the pair will attend, but a source told The Sun, no one knows what Harry's decision is but there are rumblings that he may come with Meghan and their two children. It would be Meghan's first time seeing other members of the British royal family since her now infamous sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey, where the Duchess of Sussex accused one member of racism and said they neglected her mental health. Harry has been back since, first for the funeral of Prince Philip and again to unveil the statue. Meghan didn't return in July as she had just given birth. Majestic magazine editor-in-chief Ingrid Seward told The Sun the reception was something Harry would want to be at. It is an important gathering of his mother's friends. He could even get a few quotes for his memoir. I am sure Meghan would want to be there for Diana and Harry. The couple's relationship with the rest of the royal family has plummeted again in recent months off the back of revelations Harry is writing a book about his life. News of that reportedly blindsided the Queen and there were discussions about whether they should be excluded from events next year to celebrate the monarch's platinum jubilee. The state of relations was already poor due to the Oprah interview as well as the pair's shock decision to ditch the UK in early 2020 for life in the United States.